Thank you, madam. Uh, my topic of research is Environmental Health Impact Assessment, EHIA, Processing Investigations during the post-COVID world for an efficient plant biology and biotechnology towards sustainable development. Uh, I am very thankful for the Magnus Group for this virtual PPT to its signature event and activity entitled 7th edition of Global Congress on Plant Biology and Biotechnology and the theme entailed till that is ensuring sustainability and global transformation through crucial plant science advances. The environmental health impact assessment has been conducted by systematic identification and evaluation of the potential, uh, you know, the insect resistant Bt cotton, Bacillus thuringiensis, or kapas, and new varieties of plants. Environmental health effects of the proposed projects, plans, policies, and legislative actions with respect to the physical, chemical, biophysical, and biological, and plant biological, plant biotechnological, cultural, and social economical components of the total environmental health. And this should be very important for the plant biology and biotechnology, as they are all very, very sensitive climatic change effects and with alpha of, that is a second climate sensitive factor of 0.5 degree centigrade per watt per meter squared that is net radiating forcing so the psychological effects psychological also considers the animals human as well as the plant so insect resistant bt cotton is very important uh, since 2002 uh, it has been uh, you know uh, uh, you know uh, introduced in the world so BT cotton have considerable impacts on the environment because based on the inventories, that is uh, the ecological or biological, biotechnological inventories and biological and biotechnological ecological impact assessment as well as biological and biotechnological impact statement. The purpose of this research to encourage harmony between man and his environment, to improve plant productivity, quality and profit efficiency to promote the prevention and the elimination of environmental degradation and to enrich our understanding of ecological principles, to create awareness in response to the public concern about the alarming increasing pollution of air and water and land, to publish research papers on environmental impact statements on the affected biological you know, health quality of the human environment, which is not complete still so far. And EIS is very, very important, which is part of this particular uh, work. The introduction is the concept of environmental quality loss function deployment that is also proposed integrated with my second paper as total quality management in plant biological as well as biotechnological organizations. The materials methods, root cause analysis of this research, that is a zoologic method is a scalable and to deploy and transform for plant biology and biotechnological organizations to solve eco-friendly technological aspects. And uh, this is the how this particular process approach, this is called cross-functional you know, uh, method that is very, very important instead of the functional method that is very important to conserve the biodiversity, resource conservation recoveries and uh, terrestrial as well as the biodiversity loss that is taken place. So it is called process approach. This particular method is called to mitigate the loss function. Uh, and for, for example, this is a seed cotton. The seed cotton is, uh, uh, you know, it is a bollworm resistant Bt cotton since 2002. And uh, these have considerable impacts on uh, the environmental health because these have uh, effects on the physical, biophysical, and uh, the uh, social economical components of the total environment. How? Be because of the Bt load, Bt toxin. Uh, so SEA process is proposed, strategic environmental assessment process is proposed here, and which is uh, uh, also part of the EHIA. Environmental health impact assessment is, uh, is a little different between the EH EIA, environmental impact assessment. Certain projects, especially the biotechnology and uh, you know the biological projects should be conducted EHIA because they are all very sensitive organs. And with respect to the climate sensitive factor of 0.5 degree centigrade per watt per meter squared. 
So presently 1.7 watt per meter squared is a net radiating forcing. So these have considerable effects on physiological as well as psychological disasters on the plant. Not only on the plant, it is on the animals as well as the human effects. So insect resistant BT cotton and new varieties that requires the prediction assessment of ecological effects on the uh, you know, genetically modified as well as the BT seed cotton. So this cotton requires, you know, the, the this is actually genetically modified or the genetically transformed seed cotton. And this have considerable BT load on the environment. So this is what how this ginning machine and lint cotton. Lint cotton have considerable toxic, toxic elements uh, that is called BT protein. So total plant quality management uh, is a very important continuous improvement uh, system. A system approach to the management and it has a considerable theory of knowledge as well as the understanding the variations with respect to the target and uh, you know what is called system approach to the management and uh, so this is a traditional method of plant biological functional focus so but it has to be you know considered this process focus that is cross-functional the traditional method that should also consider the total quality management process approach process A, the cross-functional, that is a, the interfaces between the boxes. So it's called the environmental health impact. So this generally is the environmental health impact is a study only conducted through the process focus. So process means set of interacting interrelating activities. So process A, process B, process C, process D, process C, especially in context to the environmental health impacts. So for example, you take this pharmaceutical and biotechnology cross-functional objectives. So veterinary impact assessment should be conducted should uh, uh, and uh, the veterinary drug residues uh, found in biomagnification in foods. So that uh, how to be tested by uh, International Organization Standard 22,000 FASM. So how this will be able to have the biomagnification in food like DDT poisoning in America in, during 1960s. The function versus process in bio plant biological and biotechnological organizations. So it is like, you know, functional focus, total quality management and the plant biology and biotechnology, veterinary and plant science. And plant biology and biotechnological waste, environmental pollution and prevention, safe methods. And the sustainable breeding, uh, plant breeding uh, is the cotton seed plants can be made resistant to drastic environmental stress and infection strains. Plant breeders across the globe have developed various short stable medium staple, long staple, and extra long staple cottons, and resistant is bacillus thuringiensis, and new varieties of plants. BT genetically modified seed cotton or cotton plants genetically modified to contain endospores. So these have considerable ecotoxicological effects. So this requires environmental health impact assessment. It's a systematic identification and, uh, and evaluation of the potential environmental toxicological effects of the bacterium BT and to be resistant to certain insect uh, pest. So environmental health exposure of plant biology and biotechnology and ecotoxical assessment has been done. BT crops are transgenesis crops that are genetically engineered from DNA and carrying genetic information of bacterium. BT crops are genetic crops that produce the same toxin as the bacterium bacillus thuringiensis, and that the seed cotton cells to produce uh, crystals, insectal proteins in the plant cell, thereby protecting the crops from themselves. So this is what this, uh, the, uh, the, the, the specific growth rate of the bacillus thuringiensis on the S, that is a substrate utilization rate. And this is the curve. So here it is uh, saturated and this here it becomes saturated. So maximum toxic effects are produced here. So this may be used, this may be sustainable resilience to the USA cotton, that is Pimo cotton or upland cotton. But Indian cottons, as far as we have cross across the in country, we have the various kind of soils. So these have considerable soil biodiversity as well as the uh, you know air and water and uh, the biodiversity problems, soil biodiversity problems. So this is what it is innovated. Its BT load is nearly around 100 ppm, 100 parts per million, as against the safe norm of 0.1 ppm. So nearly 1,000 times it is BT load is more than uh, impacts on our soil. And uh, since introduction, 
ninety uh, percent of the cotton, you know, when I was working in Sircot, Central Institute for Research on Cotton Technology, ICAR, Indian Council of Agriculture Research, nearly seven years I have been investigating on this particular work. I have worked in all kind of cottons in our country, and ninety percent BT load since two thousand two have impacts loss of land, air, water. But of course, for the Paima cotton. Or upland Egyptian cotton, there is no problem because the extra long staple cotton, which is more than 40 mm, and uh, suvin cotton. And uh, the during this production, this particular cross functional, you know, this called cross functional, uh, this thing, um, uh, the process is measured, monitored, and controlled. But in vertical organizational management, that is biotechnology or bio, 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 uh, logistic, and here the, there is no measurement monitoring control of the bacterium. But in cross-functional, that is environmental health impact assessment, nearly 200 varieties, Y is equal to function of X1, X2, 2, and Z is equal to process of, uh, you know, the Y1, Y2, Y3 with the dance stage, that is the uh, interaction interrelating with the environment and uh, the toxic proteins are uh, produced by the crop plants or warm ingested and the root of the plant and, uh, and uh, the soil, how much it has been contaminated, it is assessed and monitored. So India is the largest producer of seed cotton in the world. And like, you know, NHH 44, genetically modified cottons and uh, the uh, pesticides uh, and of course insecticide combating ball worms. And BT seed cotton is genetically engineered with bacillus, a biotoxin that comes from the soil bacterium beyond 100 ppm. And the BT that was isolated from soil is available to seed cotton as organic pesticide. And the resultant seed cotton kapas variety having the ability and efficiency. So please uh, uh, consider the ability is different and the efficacy is different. So efficacy means quality of the environment. Here environmental quality. That is my second paper is on the assessment of environmental quality function deployment for Indian double roller cotton ginning industries. So the efficacy to produce Bt protein and defend the insect and pesticide. This is what this deoxygenation and re aeration take place. Deoxygenation and re aeration and environmental impact assessment. Uh, certain projects like uh, uh, you know the vaccine, plant based antibodies, as well as the various COVID nineteen should require the environmental health impact assessment and establish the investigative environmental health pollution results that were obtained at sites of insect resistant Bt cotton and uh, considerations of plant physiological and psychological health impacts. Psychological health impact assessment also has been uh, you know, conducted in this research. So EHIA is a project proposal for the genetically modified Bt seed cotton to assess the ecotoxicological effects by visual inspection as per environmental psychological health loadings on plant nanotoxicology that resulted 1000 million standard. The strategic uh, environmental biotechnological as well as biological assessment must be needed for making much earlier decisions in planning and decision making process than EHAE process. So the purpose of this green growth policy for sustainable development, which is a kind of development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability and the efficacy of future generations to meet their biology and biotechnology uh, aspects. So an a, a experiment has been done uh, in uh, my institute, ICR, earlier institute, Central Institute for Research on Cotton Technology, Central Institute of Agriculture Engineering for more than 13 years, as well as my uh, other research being carried forward as updated, the identification and studying the environmental health impact problems existing with the presently CCLC rollers, chrome composite leather tad rollers, which are used in cotton roller ginning industries by means of environmental quality loss function and process uh, method. So to develop and identify and uh, incorporate eco-friendly non-chrome rubberized cotton fabric rollers and evaluate their performance with particular reference to environmental and uh, social uh, significance. So this is called the ginning process. This is a roller. Uh, USA have never used this chrome composite leather clad rollers. UK, earlier before 1940, only the walrus uh, animal uh, hide was used to gin the seed cotton, uh, lint separately and seed separately. And uh, this is a fixed knife, moving knife. 
and McCarthy principle to uh, remove the lint cotton from the seed. And the lint is contaminated with the chromium. And this has the poisoning effect. It's called a poisoning effect, harmful to the environment. The lint cotton, uh, by means of synergistic effect, climate change, synergistic effect take place. And it is uh, uh, beyond 100 ppm uh, approximate level. Cotton dust and bisonosis, people get affected, occupational and uh, the bisonosis. And the people also get affected by dermal cancer and uh, the lung cancer as well as the, uh, you know, the <clears throat> absorption in stomach, stomach cancers. Because of the unsafe uh, chromium contamination uh, derived from the lint cotton, from the cotton generis in India. Uh, and uh, the list of potential effects on the plant biological and so natural biological and biotechnological character loss get affected eutrophication and uh, the, uh, the 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 particular potential effects also have effects on the uh, various other animals and uh, this uh, have resilient and resilient to the ecosystems and various components of the environmental health impact assessment like prediction assessment of impacts on the air environment for the for example biodiversity loss about 20 to 25 percentage only we obtain the biodiversity. So nearly 70 percentage of the biodiversity get lost because of the uh, non-conduction of environmental health impact assessment. Why environmental health impact assessment? For certain projects, not all, especially sensitive projects that should require the environmental health impact assessment. For example, BT seed cotton, BT uh, you know, uh, Bacillus thuringiensis, uh, brinjal, other vegetables, and the soil have, and soil and groundwater environment, surface water environment, and uh, they have effects on the cultural environment, man-made environment, and the social economical environment of the total environment, total environmental health. So this plant biology, how this uh, impacts, uh, you know, six-step methodology is given here. And the toxic substance, uh, uh, toxic bacillus thuringiensis, anything which because of its quantity, concentration, or physical, chemical infection characteristics that may cause or significantly contribute to an increase in mortality. So especially COVID-19 post uh, deliberations, the mortality aspects are very, very important due to the bacillus thuringiensis or cause an increase in serious irreversible or incapacitating reversible illness or pose a substantial present or potential hazard to human health and the environment when improperly treated, stored, transported, or disposed of, or otherwise managed the hazardous substance or hazardous waste. So bi biology and biotechnology poisoning, how this condition take place, and venom of the project, uh, plant, pathological conditions, and infection, and substance and waste that are able to transmit spread infection disease, and non-infection disease and substance or waste containing viable microorganisms or the toxins. So as we have seen the monoid kinetics in the previous graph, as long as the substrate is utilized, the microorganisms going on developing and have the poisoning effect, acute poisoning and chronic poisoning. Uh, and these are all the, how these characteristics, ignitability characteristic, corrosive characteristic. The corrosive ability of this, uh, you know, the hazardous substance, Bt, is less than pH, less than 2 that is uh, hazardous uh, acidic environment and hazardous uh, uh, you know alkaline environment 12.5 it goes beyond 12.5 is called toxicity and reactivity by means of toxic extraction leaching procedures tlp and uh, toxicity fatal ingestion absorption and inhalation uh, and absorption and, uh, and these are all the various uh, values that has been measured monitored and uh, the climate impact assessment is a systematic identification and evaluation of the potential climate impacts of the proposed projects, especially on biotechnological projects, and to encourage the consideration of, considerations of the environment as well as climate factor in plant biology and biotechnological project planning and decision-making process that uh, ultimately arrive at actions that are climate, sens climate sensitivity that is alpha, Alpha is the climate sensitivity factor that is 0.5 to 0.6 degrees centigrade per watt per meter squared and the Paris Declaration, environmental climate wise healthily and it's called synergistic poisoning how this has and Bt lowered cotton dust bisonosis and chromium is a chromium based disease and synergistic effect during the daytime 
and uh, uh, disaugmenting uh, effects during the night time. There is a disenergistic effects. So case studies, for example, the Low Canal area in USA was originally Uh, under 1970, National uh, Environmental Policy Act, USA, uh, NEPA, National Environmental Policy Act, that is called Environmental Impact Assessment, the bioaccumulation, all these disasters have, uh, have, have been, uh, you know, the very important key uh, implementation of the first legislation in the world is called the National Environmental Policy Act, e, e, that is the Environmental Impact Assessment Process. Now, that is three concept engineering economics and environment from 1970 based on the resource conservation recovery policies excellent environmental pollution uh, prevention control mechanisms in usa so this is what how this uh, uh, the, the, the the particular customer specific quality environmental quality as meeting nominal the best smaller the better larger the better and uh, this what this equation environmental quadratic quality function deployment so materials and method so walrus uh, walrus animal skin is now uh, outdated and uh, and because of the sustainability sustainability concept uh, and this now uh, made with the chrome composite leather rollers in our cotton ginning industries and uh, this is seed cotton and uh, lint cotton and uh, this uh, have the seed contaminated with the chromium pollution due to the dust producing grinding action this is a dust producing grinding action in cotton ginning industries and uh, it's nearly around one uh, the roller is made up of 178 in one season it becomes 140 mm so nearly 40 to 50 microns per mm per, per, per hour this contaminates the lint cotton and uh, this uh, gin roller experimental device which has been done in circuit uh, icr indian council of agriculture research and uh, this is a chrome composite leather clad rollers this is a uh, dangerous uh, chromium 6 that is a toxic hexavalent chromium uh, of more than 36,000 ppm parts per million. And due to the dust producing grinding action, these are considerable impacts on the environment. Uh, and lint cotton, this is a roller wearing data. And the chromium toxicity effects on the human organs. The people get affected uh, due to the chromium poisoning in the vicinity. So these are the chromium powder, how these uh, people get affected. You can see the physiological disorders and psychological disorders among the people in the vicinity due to the bicinosis disease and COPD as well as the brain damage due to the uh, effects on these occupational health exposures. And occupationally health exposed uh, hazard and due to the, uh, you know, dust producing grinding action. And along with that BT load, has been assessed atomic absorption spectrophotometer is used to find out the chromium toxicity in the samples the various samples it has been assessed monitored and controlled and uh, controlled by means of eco friendly uh, uh, these are the various spm or spm uh, result uh, this is the gin roller experimental device uh, that has been uh, used in order to redesign this roller and this is a rubberized cotton fabric rollers. UESA, United States Department of Agriculture, was my uh, reviewer, uh, engineer, uh, the senior engineer who just now retired. So they have reviewed my paper and uh, documented in Journal of Agricultural Safety. It's a very prestigious journal in the world. Journal of Agricultural Safety by NIOH, American Society of Agricultural Biological Engineers. Very famous uh, journal, uh, high, high impact fact journal and it is published in this document and this is a newly used rubberized cotton fabric roller and it is uh, uh, innovated and put it in the machine for assessing the performance uh, eco toxicological effects and uh, the, the various stages of the new roller uh, that has been incorporated in cotton ginning industries the mitigation aspects of the ehia the mitigation aspect, sixth stage is called mitigation aspect. After identification, evaluation, mitigation has been taken place. This is a mitigation aspect. How this mitigation has been taken place to avoid the ecotoxicological effects. So these are new, newly used rubberized cotton fabric rollers. And uh, this is a mitigation. Now this the new roller has been doing and successfully uh, ginning the seed cotton. Uh, but BT load is found nearly around 100 to 120 ppm. And uh, this what how this uh, so any foreign matter 
other than the field originate trash any foreign matter other than field originate trash is a serious problem in seed cotton and uh, this is what how this uh, innovation has been continued and uh, uh, this is a roller is a eco friendly lint cotton uh, but a bt toxin with considerable bt load eco friendly lint cotton with considerable bt load so this is called white gold king cotton in our country we call it so white gold how the gold have value same this is called white gold so white gold is a very very important precious element and any foreign matter other than the field originating trash including bollworm is a serious including bt is a serious uh, health problem so that's why we have to conduct the environmental health impact assessment for the biology as well as the micro as well as the uh, veterinary biology as well the plant uh, biotechnology aspects so this what how the investigation has been continuing uh, in the environmental quality function aspects environmental quality function environmental quality function means uh, the uh, understanding the variations uh, with respect to the toe that is a delta plus toe delta minus toe toe that is a deviation that is that will be my next paper uh, and this how this worker has get affected and uh, uh, the, the 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 person has considerable cancer effects and he ultimately died due to the uh, particular uh, uh, the synergistic poisoning and uh, the insect resistant bt cotton new varieties bacillus thuringiensis effect of bt load is equal to 90% on the environmental health uh, and uh, uh, these are the recommendations and insect resistance uh, and uh, most of the cotton ginning operations are done by using double roller gins in india africa tanzania and egypt U usc and uk do not use the cclc rollers the lint cotton and seeds process through these chrome rollers get contaminated it is imperative that a green policy decision should be taken in order to do away these rollers and get replaced with the eco friendly rollers and bt cottons so these are the references a very prestigious journal in the world it is a journal of agricultural safety and health published by american society of agricultural and biological engineers usda united state department of agriculture it is a very very famous journal and they have documented this paper eco friendly rubberized cotton fabric roller development for cotton roller gins united state department of agriculture southern cotton ginning laboratory at par with uh, southern cotton ginning laboratory the paper has been innovated and uh, documented their inputs were there in this paper it is journal of agricultural safety and health and uh, uh, this year national safety celebrate uh, national safety week is celebrated throughout india uh, especially march first week and second week especially on the safety aspects zero harm zero harm is the theme of this particular week so journal of agricultural safety health is a very very important and these are the remaining papers and uh, and these are all the various papers on unsafe chromium contamination and pollution from cotton ginning industries and bisonosis and uh, uh, coronavirus disease impact assessment uh, and this is a lab lamp but uh, uh, germany book uh, and uh, the life uh, sustainable life sciences book and uh, the environmental health impact assessment uh, uh, this this considered on the genetically modified organisms and uh, the the other uh, safety uh, uh, safety of the missionaries and uh, thank you very much thank you very much for the opportunity given to me madam